Energy efficiency is thought to be one of the measures that will save a lot of emissions in the future. So economists have had this reputation of finding that the energy efficiency projects work, but it might not be working as much as we thought. We decided to focus on public schools in California because at the time the policymakers were discussing approving a law that would funnel billions of dollars into energy efficiency at schools. In our sample at the end we have about 2,000 schools. We observe their electricity consumption every hour of the day for many, many years. We have detailed weather data for each of these schools, the holiday calendar, so it's really a huge data set where we see everything in terms of electricity that's happening in each school. The way we used to do regressions in economics, it was sort of by hand. So if we thought weather was important, we would include weather for everyone. If we thought the weather interacted with the day of the week, we would include it for every single school. If you throw everything into the kitchen sink, it's kind of garbage in, garbage out. There's way too much noise in the model that you are trying to estimate. We had to be more flexible, but we really didn't know where to start given that we had so many, many variables that we could kind of pick from. Our study is probably the first that's trying to use these machine learning tools in this setting. What we do is take the data from each school separately and we try to ask the machine to give us the best model for one school. The goal of the paper was to compare the savings that we could measure to the ones that were predicted ex ante by an engineering model. We unfortunately found that the savings were smaller than predicted. Only 50 to 70% was actually delivered. And in some of our traditional methods, we would find things like 20 to 30% savings. The machine learning approach helped has cleaned out some of the noise and it helped us probably get better signal from the data. One thing that, that this project has convinced me of is that machine learning is actually something quite useful. It's a disciplined approach to include many, many variables, but not too many. Yes. <laughs>